The NBA is exposing itself, guys. So for the past four years, I've used a variety of tools to expose professional sports. But at this point, these leagues are doing it themselves for all to see who have any discernment. I believe Satan is running these leagues. I will break down the series so far between Denver Nuggets and Minnesota Timberwolves to show you that the NBA is nothing but a satanic organization in which the outcomes are determined by black magic and numerical rituals and not talent and coaching. So right now, Denver versus Minnesota is 3-3. We're going to see a game seven this Sunday. And it became 3-3 on the 137th day of the year. And 137 is the 33rd prime number. Denver came into this series against the Timberwolves without losing in two years at home. Yet they lost the first two games of the series at home, 106-99, and then outrageously they lost game two at home by 26 points after losing 106-80. to So over two games at home, a team that had not lost in two years at home lost by a combined 33 points and now the series is 3-3. So Minnesota became massive favorites to progress to the Western Conference Finals, and Denver became plus 375 to progress. Yet they went to Minnesota and won back-to-back -back games on the road to tie up the series at 2-2. So after losing Game 2 at home by 26 points, the Nuggets went to Minnesota to play Game 3, and the Nuggets won by 27 points, by a score of 117-90. They then won Game 4 by 8 points after winning 115-108. So the Nuggets won Games 3 and 4 in Minnesota by a combined 35 points. And I'll show you that here. All right? Game 1, Timberwolves won 106-99. They win by 7 points. Timberwolves then beat the Nuggets in game two by 26 points on the anniversary of King Charles III being coronated. And we know the series right now, guys, is 3-3. Then in game three, the Nuggets went to the Timberwolves and won by 27 points. Four days later, guys, after losing by 26 at home, they win by 27 on the road. Game four, the Nuggets win in a closer game, but they still win by eight on the road against the Timberwolves. So now it's 2-2. The word satanic equals 22. There's 22 chapters in the book of Revelation also. Now game five was played in Denver and newly crowned three-time MVP Nikola Jokic. I coded him to win his three MVPs. He scored 40 points and got 13 assists in a game in which Denver won by 15 points, winning 112.97. They did this on the anniversary of Israel declaring its independence, right? So they win by 15 points to win game five. And 15 is the fifth triangular number. Five is the third prime. And the Timberwolves lost their third game in a row for the first time all season. So now you're thinking, all right, Timberwolves, they've lost their confidence, their self-belief. All right, they took a 2-0 lead against the reigning champions. They then lost three in a row. Okay? You think, okay, that winning mentality for Denver, they'll go to Minnesota and they should close out this series. But no, they didn't. No, they didn't. I'll get to game six in a moment. So Jokic was drafted 41st pick and he became the face of the NBA after Kobe Bryant died at age 41. Yes, the same Kobe Bryant who in his last ever game was taken out with 4.1 seconds left on the clock. So it came to no shock to me that Jokic and the Nuggets knocked out LA Lakers from the playoffs the past two seasons and noticed that the Nuggets just beat the Lakers 4-1 to knock them out this year. Um, and the Nuggets won the NBA Finals last year 4-1 against Miami Heat. And the Lakers beat Miami Heat in the 2020 NBA Finals, the year Kobe and Gianna died. 
And they just so happened to win it on National Father Daughter Day. All right. On National Father Daughter Day. And know that Kobe Bryant was accused of rape in Denver. Right? So after winning game five, Denver took a 3-2 lead. And this series is third seed versus second seed. One of the Timberwolves' best players is Anthony Towns. He wears number 32. Now, reigning NBA champions, Denver came into game six in Minnesota knowing that if they won, they would win the series 4-2. And early in the game, they took a 9-2 lead and they became the favorites. And then Minnesota took a timeout. After the timeout, guys, after the timeout, the Timberwolves went on a 27-2 and run where Denver couldn't make a shot. All right? So after the first quarter, the Timberwolves were up 31-14. You add up those numbers, it's 45. All right? It's 45. And the Nuggets ended up losing this game 115-70. to They lost by 45 points. World War II ended in 45. Hitler died in 45. The reason Jokic is doing so well is because he's Serbian. It was a Serbian who shot dead Franz Ferdinand, which triggered World War One. All right. And Jokic has been the superstar since what? Since Russia invaded the Ukraine. Since Israel was attacked by Hamas. It's all coded. All right. The three-time NBA MVP... Nikola Jokic literally runs like he's been shot in both of his kneecaps. But when Black Magic is involved, that doesn't matter. So this was Jokic as a kid. I'm telling you, when Black Magic is involved, guys, Satan can make anybody a superstar. And the media always tell us just how much Jokic loves his horses. He just loves his horses. He loves them more than basketball. I wonder if that's a reference to the Four Horsemen. I'm pretty sure it is, isn't it, Jokic? Jokic wears number 15 in Gematria. War equals 15. All right. This is all coded, guys. The fact is, a team shouldn't lose by 26 and then days later win by 27. All right. And days later lose by 45. This is the NBA champions, guys, losing by 45 points. The year after they won the NBA championship, which they won, by the way, on the 41st U.S. president's birthday, George Bush Jr. All right. On his 99th birthday. So again, guys, I didn't need Gematria here. I just have to show you the scores. And to finish off, guys, the Timberwolves, a lot of the fans today were wearing shirts saying, I love wolves. Matthew 7.15, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Now, the Timberwolves at one point had Kevin Love on their team, number 42, and the Beast of Revelation reigns for 42 months. And look at this jersey here, Love with the wolf on it, number 42. All right. Can you see this? Can you see this, guys? How deep this is? How Satan's behind the NBA, whether you like it or not? And there's fans wearing t-shirts saying, I love wolves. So yeah, look. Look at the number 42. Here's Towns with his 32 jersey. Anthony Edwards had a big game today. All right. Probably the child of Michael Jordan. So much deception, guys. Raised by wolves here. So, again, my work is to expose the darkness of this world and deception. Yes, I make predictions and that's part of what I do and I get things right and I get things wrong. I often get things right, but when it comes to exposing the darkness, I do that every single day for you. So what do you think, guys? Do you think the NBA is organic? Do you think it's black magic? Do you think Satan's behind it? Do you think it's all about Vegas and money? If so, why did the Timberwolves have to win by 45? 
Okay, yes, they could have covered the spread. Why win by 45? And if the Nuggets win game seven, what are you going to say after they just lost by 45 points? Oh, they were at home. Oh, they had a good team talk. Oh, they watched the footage back and they made a few changes. Guys, come on. This right here, this right here should not be happening, should it? The Denver Nuggets scored nine points in the fourth quarter. They scored 14 in the first quarter. This is the current NBA champions who have a three-time MVP player on their team who, look, 22 points. 22 points. Satanic equals 22. The book of Revelation has 22 chapters. 22 is a master number. So is 33. So just try and explain this, guys. Jamal Murray, 10 points. Well, let's look at how he did in game five. Jamal Murray. Let's take a look. 16 points. Jokic, 40. Let's have a look at game three, shall we? And let's have a look at how Jamal Murray did there. 24 points. It's just all coded, guys. Look, you don't see any quarters here with nine points scored or 14. Come on. Come on, guys. It's all a satanic show. You need to give your energy now to the word of God and repent. I'm telling you. So let's see what happens in game seven. The Timberwolves were up by 17 points after the first quarter, the seventh prime. Pretty much showing you it was going to a game seven. So let's see. Let's take a look at what CBS is saying, shall we? Nuggets versus Timberwolves score. Anthony Edwards, Minnesota stay alive. Force game seven with 45-point blowout. All right, can you believe this? Look at this. The Wolves led by 17 at the end of the first quarter and never looked back as they forced game seven. 17 is the seventh prime. Against the reigning champs in their first home win of the series, their 45-point win was the second largest by any team facing elimination in NBA history. And they did it against the reigning champions. So Edwards got a game-high 27 points. Jaden McDaniels wears number three. He got 21 points. In this series, he's averaged seven. The odds are very strange for game seven. The Timberwolves are favourites on the road against Denver, who have lost two games at home in two years. Why are the Timberwolves favourites? Is it because they just won by 45? It's ridiculous. They lost by 27 at home. Not that long ago. So, Denver shot an abysmal 30.2% from the floor. 30.2%. Another sneaky 32. So, yeah. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to keep exposing it. And at this point, if you can't see this, you likely never will. So God bless you all. Let me know what you think in the comments about the NBA and professional sports in general. Take care. Much love.